Hey guys, still here and welcome back to From the Depths. Um, From the Depths back so soon, just one day after I did the previous video. Um, well, yes, I find that I really enjoy playing adventure mode. And um, I know that people want other content as well. Especially Wargame Red Dragon, it gets requested a lot lately. But I started up a replay. I tried to do a video and I just started yawning in the first five minutes. I'm really not interested in that game. So instead, you're getting yet another episode of From the Depths, uh, pretty soon after the previous one. Now, I did do a bit of homework, and that means that I can now um, start, well, sort of building an APS turret. In order to really make that work, I will need your assistance, because I have some idea of how those things work. I uh, did a bit of digging into what a decent turret makes. But, in order to get the real turret going and to get the best type of ammunition system going, that is where I'm going to need your assistance. Now, for now, I'm going to uh, dig a bit of a hole in the deck. Let's see, this is the center line of the ship, right here. And this is where my new turret is going to sit. It's going to be an APS turret, armed, um, or sorry, aimed rather, at taking down... Well, let's say light units and potentially aerial units. Although I think the 40 millimeters can also work against that. So time to set up a, uh, where was that again? Sub object, one axis turret. And it's going to sit like that. Now a couple of uh, advanced cannon connectors. Let's just go with a couple of six way connectors. The trick is to try and make this thing sit inside of the whole turret casing so that it doesn't stick out the deck too far. And uh, well, I found that to be pretty tricky when I was playing around with building one of these things. Sort of fits, sort of, but they can get really large really quick. Now let's set up an AA mantlet. Uh, the plan is to build a weapon system that can go after surface ships, seeing as the other weapon that I have behind it, the 40 millimeter, can deal with aerial targets. And of course, yes, it can deal with surface targets if you really wanted to, but it's not really the aim of this particular weapon system. Now, let's start with getting a uh, gauge corner over here. And I'm looking for... I was thinking of going for a dual 127 millimeter, so a dual 5 inch. And that would give me a decent amount of firepower. Um, the most important thing, I think, is to ensure that I have a large enough... Um, oh shit, I'm installing cooling vents. Um, is that I have a large enough rate of fire. So I'm going to go with, let's say, two or three barrels. I think two looks better. Now, there is something to be said for looks, and I have seen people just build a minigun, but I want to go for a dual barrel, let's say 127 mil. Currently, I'm looking at 89 millimeters. So I need to increase that a bit more. And now we have 118. It's pretty hard to see. There we go. What are you now? 146. Hmm... I can force it to be 127. That could work. But I'm not really sure if I want to do that. Hmm. No, let's just keep it at 146 then. All right, what I'm now looking for is um, the type of shell to build. And of course, cooling systems and the such. So first, I'm going to, in a separate spot on the ship, build an ammo system. Build a particular type of shell that I want. Ammo controller. And followed by an ammo customizer. I'm always a bit confused about how the game wants me to put down the ammo controller. Yeah, that's it. Just don't rotate it at all. It's really that straightforward. All right, this shell. Uh, no, that only has a few parts. 
Now I have a few more. I want to have a couple of gunpowder casings. The nose is going to be a frag warhead. Uh, apply that. And I'm looking at 140... No, not 148. 146 millimeters. Barrel length required for full propellant burn 3.8 meters. I do have a 4 meter barrel on there, I believe. Although I'm not exactly sure. Now, um, what else do we need? Shell casing rear. Shell casing middle. High explosive, high explosive, high explosive. And this means that it has a decent amount of shell power. It has a good velocity. It can range 3200 meters. I'm going to need a 1 meter shell rack for this 876 millimeter shell. Barrel length for full propellant burn is 1.5 meters, so that's fine. Barrel cooldown time is almost 8 seconds. Jeez, that's quite long. Now it's down to 6 seconds. Recoil force is not that bad. Uh, and high explosive damage. This is fragmentation damage. Expe expected explosive damage 1163. All right, so that's what we're going to be firing from that particular turret. Uh, how do I get to the turret build again? No, that's to interact with the firing piece. That's customizer. I always forget how to do that. I know that there is a key to go to a subgrid, but I just forget. All right, I found it. It's the bracket. Um, unfortunately, the whole thing just collapsed because I might have accidentally removed it. So here we go again. Um, sub objects, one axis turret pointed in that way. Make sure we have the connectors again. In the meanwhile, the ship is under attack. So it is rather of the essence that this sh weapon system comes online soon. Because that ship behind me is actively launching torpedoes at me or rockets. And as you can see, part of the beams over there have fallen off. Because that thing is starting to do some damage. So better get this thing online fast and start shooting it. Because we're going to need it. Advanced firing piece. No, that's the wrong way. Oh, and there's another one right there. Mantlet. AA mantlet. Uh, barrels. Let's go for a 4 meter length. There we go. And now we're going to switch to the gauge corner. Like that. Cooling. No, first the gauge increasers. 1, 2, 3. This is now a 100, 236. It's a bit too large. Three would give me 106 millimeters. No, I want to go a bit bigger than that. Two barrels only. And that's 118, so I need to add one more gauge increaser, if I'm not mistaken. 146, perfect. All right then, moving on. Um, got to attach what I think ideally would be belt-fed autoloaders. Because they can provide quite a lot of firepower really quickly. Let's see, where did the ammo casing go? There, okay. Now, um, this weapon, no shells loaded. Let's make sure that it has some shells. We're going to have a ammo clip on here. Oh, something's blowing up. Doesn't look too good. Let's put a few more. And just add the ammo clips here. And then add the ammo inputs. One, two, three. Not assigned to an ammo controller. Correct. Assign all of those. Yes, that one. All right, there we go. They are currently loading. Uh, status, auto loader limit, 47 rounds per minute. Ammo intake limit, 47 rounds a minute. Cooling limit, 21 rounds a minute. So my cooling needs work. I'm currently not cooling the barrel fast enough. Ideally, I want to get uh, one shell out every second. 
that would really be my objective here. Let's start splitting this thing, cooling splitter. Uh, what are we at now? Auto loader limit, cooling limit 30 rounds a minute rate of fire. Not too bad. Cooling limit 40 rounds a minute. Cooling limit 60 rounds a minute. Now it's the auto loaders that are causing the issue. So if I can add an other auto loader or two, and I can probably just do that all the way down here. Uh, belt fed auto loader. That's attached. That's attached. Clip. Clip here. Clip there. Ammo input. Now down here below deck, I have a bit more room. So ideally, I would just have a few more of those ammo inputs. And that would allow me to load stuff a hell of a lot faster. All right. Ammo, autoloader load input, 78 rounds a minute. Ammo intake limit, 110. Cooling limit, 70 rounds a minute. Uh, barrel cooldown, 1.72 seconds. So by my count, we should be able to get a fairly decent rate of fire out of that gun. Fairly decent indeed. Now there is another thing that I would like to get. It's a laser targeter. Allows automatic setting of timed fuses. So that in case I have a problem with an aerial unit, I can pretty quickly eliminate it. Uh, yeah, no fuse setting yet. Correct, because I don't have any fused shells. So that's fine. We can keep that as is. Now blocks, lightweight alloy. Let's see if I can armor this thing up and make it look not too terrible. And more importantly, it still has to be able to rotate. That is very important for this particular piece. I keep pressing C, by the way, in case you've noticed, because in Space Engineers, which I play uh, for quite a few hours a day, that's the key that I need to press if I want to change something, if I want to reduce the uh, the height of something. All right, glorious turret looking fantastic. See, there I go again, once again, C. Uh, too slow beam there. In this game, it's Alt if you want to go lower on something. And then a couple of three meter beams here and here. And uh, let's see, let's use a one corner here, triangle, so a block here and there, triangle corner, we're going to do that here, slope, there. All right, now the whole weapon system. I want to be able to manually control and that is going to be group, uh, let's say group one for now. Unfortunately over here I don't have a firing control yet. So let's set that thing up otherwise the whole firing computer or the whole uh, trusting the weapon out is not really going to work. Oh crap, it's not just the turret that I need to change. Uh, it is also the cannon itself. Yes, the firing piece, one, correct? The real question is, is it even loaded? Because those belt feeders do require quite a bit of loading. Gun ready? I couldn't tell you. Status? No, I think we're still loading into the clips. You can sort of see it down here. Can reload in seven seconds, reload time 7.6 seconds. Okay, so we, we are loaded actually. All right, excellent. In that case, I should be able to start firing. Bring the gun over. Guns reloading. 
Okay, so we're not ready yet. It switches from ready to idle very, very, very quickly. But that might be because that other weapon system is also set to 1. No, it's not. Hmm. Why are you not ready? I need you to be ready. I don't quite like this... This part of the turret being exposed here. I don't know if I can safely close that part up. Anyway, um, ammo. Why am I not seeing ammunition here? Are some of these things not done yet? Ready to load? No issues? Oh, we might not have enough access to ammo. No, we do. It's just that the game is set to be so slow that the loading just takes a hell of a lot longer. That's the problem. All right, let's go back to one time speed then. Still loading. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's get away from our current position a bit, seeing as I'm still sort of under attack. Gun still loading. Come on, buddy. I need to see how much damage I can do. There we go. Ready. Firing. Whoa, what sort of an angle is that? Again. Are we really throwing them out at this kind of an angle? Well, it might actually hit, come to think of it. Nope. Too far. Okay, so maybe my shell isn't quite as good as I'd hoped. Maybe I need a bit more gunpowder on that. Because what I currently have is only one gunpowder casing. We're going to throw another one on there. Unfortunately, that will cause all the guns to start reloading. Alright, in the meanwhile, as that gun system is coming online, let's ensure that this thing is going to be operational as well. Uh, these are going to be... Well, they were torpedoes. I'm just going to make them uh, not torpedoes. You know what? I Whoa. Maybe I need to turn away from that thing until I have some better guns on the bow. I'm thinking of putting a laser guidance system on the mast that I have. Seeing as I have some room over there, I might as well go... Whoa. Jesus. I might as well go with it. I really need that turret online. Okay, AI, um, connector, mirror. Here, could you not? Laser guidance. Where was that in it? It's not detection components. Um, God, where did they put that again? AI card slot, no, no. Strategic dish, no. No, no, no. Camera. Laser tracker rangefinder, that's not it. So laser guidance system. Is it under missiles? Laser emitter. Used for beam rider missiles and laser target designator missiles. Yes. There we go. Currently not connected. Connects to a missile controller or a connector. Really? That needs to be connected to a missile connector? Huh. Uh, I'm going to slow the game down quite a bit more because I'm still being attacked and I still don't have that cannon online and I can't think at this rate. Needs to connect to a missile controller. What if I go for a wireless transmitter? Does that work? Probably not. Laser wireless receiver. Can transmit? Yes. Um, so you need to be connected. This is the transmitter, I suppose. Can connect the missile controller to the distant missile block. 
Oh, right. I don't have it on a connector. I have it on an AI connector. That's potentially the issue here. So, um, these need to be two missile connectors, if I'm doing this right. Transmitters. And then the laser emitter. Right? Now I can go all the way back to my laser system, or my missile system, and install a laser receiver there. Not connected to the missile connector, to the missile controller. Okay, so you need to sit on here. What? I'm sorry, I still have to do my homework on this part, apparently. Learning something new every single episode. I used to be able to do this <laughs> four years ago or something when I was still uh, playing this game quite a bit more. Anyway, until we have that thing online, I'll make sure that these are actually functioning as uh, activator seekers. They're going to have a variable thruster. They need to have a decent lifetime and preferably speed to match. So thrust duration 35 seconds, check. Fins, check. Ballast tank, not really required. Uh, a, one, a prediction guidance, maybe. Altitude fuse, no, not really. Just go with another explosive warhead. And thrust duration is now 24 seconds. So let's say that the thrust output is going to be a little lower than that. 40 seconds. Lifetime, 40 seconds. Copy to all matching launch pads. Hand it over to the AI so I don't have to micromanage it. Local weapon controller. And tell this thing not to engage any subsurface contacts because you won't be able to hit them anyway. So it has to be an altitude of uh, zero or greater. And the range, three and a half kilometers or so. I'm not even sure exactly what the range should be. Just make sure that these things are connected. Check, and they're immediately being sent out. Uh, and a fail safe. Shouldn't really be an issue with the missiles. But you never know. Alright, so we have one away. And that thing is going for... Well, at this point, I don't really care what it's going for. Alright, back to full speed. Any resources that I can pick up? Yes. Any uh, threats nearby? Not really. Okay, that's where we're going. Sit. Turn to starboard. Make sure my guns are ready. Something's blowing up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Barrel's cooling down. Ah. Here's one of my shells going out from the cannon. I'm not sure if that thing has been properly set up yet. It might be that we're still using the old shells. Let me check that. Is that shell configured properly now? Yeah, gunpowder. Yeah, should be fine. Exit. What are these things firing, then? Are you still loaded with the old shells, by any chance? No, probably not. Alright, let's hand off control of this thing to the AI as well. Speed to minimum. There. This thing definitely will need a fail safe. I really don't want the AI to start firing this thing at my bridge. And it's going to need a wireless receiver on the other end. Uh, where are you pointing? There. Not connected. There we go. 
And we are opening up. Field of fire, or rate of fire seems decent. But for some reason we're lobbing these shells at an extreme angle. Oh, there we go. The shell speed is still 268. That's the problem. The shell speed is still too low. Ammo intake. I need to use uh, force assign all of those. Rack containing 11 out of 12 shells. Reloading in 7 seconds. Uh, no, sorry. Wrong weapon system. Shell speed is still 268. It might just chime through the whole supply of ammunition over there that it still has, 130 shells. And when it does that, it's going to start loading the new shells, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, in the meanwhile, we have some resources to farm. So let's increase speed to full. Get into, uh, well, either of the resource zones here. And pick up a total of 14,000 resources. Yes, that'd be nice. That would be very nice indeed. Now, what are we facing? I don't quite know yet. Nothing over there. Other side, there was also a threat. I need to open up this part of the bridge. I really can't see what's going on. All right, uh, blocks, lightweight. I think three meter beams would be easier to work with, at least temporarily. So this thing here. There. Again. And then the glass windows. There, now I have a 360 degree vision. My turret is engaging something over there. Okay, not too bad. Are we still on one time speed? No, we're on 0.59. -er. Okay, come left. And start slowing down a little because I think we're... Oh, we're just skirting the edge. Unfortunately, with a ship this long, it doesn't really turn that well. Turret's happily opening up. But so far, I'm not really seeing any hits. Where's that circle? Oh. <laughs> okay, we need more rudder on this ship. Because we just keep skirting the edges. We're not actually getting into the zone. I had, what, one rudder on here? Yeah, no surprise it's not turning very quickly. Block. Lightweight alloy. Slopes. Set up the line of the ship. Center line mirror. And get me some more rudders. Uh, water. I don't know how the large rudders work yet. So I'm just going to play it safe and use the standard rudders. There we go. Now we can turn quite a bit faster. That's the 40 millimeter still happily going off. That turret seems like it took a hit. Guns, guns, guns. Let's see if that gun actually does anything, because so far I'm not really too impressed. And it's probably down to my ammunition. So that's something I will need you guys help on. Uh, how do I get better ammo on this thing? What sort of shell would you recommend? Because there is definitely an improvement to be made there. Closest target. There's a Wanda over there. And I thought there were more targets here. 
All right, are we mining resources yet? We're not. But we are in the zone. <laughs> those radio things, or the, the laser things just look ridiculous. I'm gonna take those off. They don't, whoa. They don't do anything. All right, I did have resource miners over here. But I think I took them off at some point. Mostly accidentally. So, let's get the resource miners back up. Racers, gatherers. The faster we can strip this zone of resources, the better it is. There we go. Now, what's currently doing so much damage to me? You're engaging something in front of me. Is it that airship? That guy? Let's see, how far can we fly now? Pretty far. Not far enough. Crap. Okay, so we might need a better anti-air shell. Because right now, I don't think I'm doing enough damage. Oh, hello, what are you then? What are you, exactly? You look like a crashed ship. It's like an airship that's using balloons to try and get back up. Still, my shells aren't getting there. Oh, something came down. Yeah, part of the bridge. Uh, where's my shell? Here. So I guess we're going to need even more gunpowder. Effective shell velocity, almost 600 meters per second. Range, three and a half kilometers. What if I go with an HE head? Slow head, that creates an... Uh, right, okay, no. Sabo head, speed modifier 1.6. No. Let's just, well, see, this is something that is so micromanagey that I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I should be using a frag head or not. Are we still, no, we drifted out of the zone. Forward. And turn a bit to the left to ensure that both of my, <laughs> both of my two <laughs> turrets can actually do something. All right, farming. There's about 700 accessible with 12,000 in reserve. I might have to do a bit of back and forth between these two sectors so that there's immediately accessible resources. I can farm those. Once they're done, just sail to the other one and then back. Now, where is that target? There's something over there. No, there's something shooting over there. That's it. Barrel pulling down. Look at that angle. Jesus. Oh, there you are. That thing's too low. It's going to get, get destroyed. I hope you guys aren't getting seasick yet. And something's flying over there. Can we actually get it? Hey, hey! 1.35k. I'll take it. Keep doing damage. It's not a lot, but I'll take it. All right, I've handed control of the AI, or of the weapon back to the AI, but it's detecting and engaging something else entirely. Now, with the resources that I have, I wonder if I have enough to build another turret. Um, edit, sub-objects mode, save it. Uh, turret, combat, dinghy. 
Save. Alright, then towards the bow, sub object mode, turret combat dinghy, 9,575 materials. That's the loader and the saver. I want to place that down. Preferably here on the bow. Not too close to the missile system, but still where I can use it. Sub objects. No. Do I have enough resources? Yeah, I have plenty. So I should be able to place it down then. One axis turret. Resave. No. At this vehicle, to no. Well, I suppose that could work. Yep, here we are. And I can put that here. But this thing is a bit too tall. So I'm going to put it over here. Give AI control to it. Uh, AI local oven controller. You're going to get that. Fail save it and uh, get a wireless receiver. Have fun with a new gun. Going out of control. Uh, speaking of out of control, we have left the zone again. Ah, there we go. 9.46k damage, bit of frag damage, bit of kinetic. That bow turret also seems to be tracking something. But I'm not quite happy about what it's tracking. So I might need to change that to ensure that it tracks the closest target. There's the missiles coming out. Farming resources again. I think that there are quite a lot of resources around. As a lot of ships have been getting killed off. Look at that thing, the grouper. That thing's really close. Hold on. Last part of this episode, I want to make sure that... Come on, build mode. That my target prioritization is set up properly. And right now, I don't believe that it is. If I even have one of those cards. General purpose? No, I don't have a target prioritization. Or... <laughs> Aimpoint selector. I tried to set that up and completely failed at it. Um, behaviors, target prioritization. That's not quite right. There we go, not connected. Oh, they need to be on card slot specifically. Fine, we'll use a card slot. Uh, card slot, expensive, here. Alright. Now, the bus saw is going to be the highest priority. Set it, whoops, set it down to minimum speed. Where's the bus saw? Because that's the grouper. I want the grouper to be the highest priority. So, I need to adjust the aim points, or the target prioritization, to ensure that whatever's closest gets the most points. The fuck is my target prioritization? Here. Uh, the grouper has slightly, slightly less points. Value per range. It's... There we go. It's starting to prioritize the... No, it's deprioritizing the grouper. Huh. Uh, value per block. Why is the bus saw so incredibly important? And the grouper not so much. Propulsion, engine, per fire... It, it's prioritizing firepower. Okay. Per missile, this is the weapon systems that it has. Hmm. For some reason, it doesn't consider the grouper to be that big of a threat. It considers it a second priority, but the first priority is the bus saw. I'm not even sure where that thing is. 
There it is. So why are you so incredibly important? I guess I can figure out why it's called Buzzsaw. Hmm. Resources left here, seven and a half K. Okay. This thing is almost on top of me. I want control of all weapon systems. Because if you're not doing it, then I'm going to do it manually. I want that thing blown out of the water. You're targeting the Wanda? No, you're not. Okay, that thing just got too damaged. But that's not... Hold on. We're still doing damage to it. 24k. Come on. 32k, 38k. Something else is doing damage to me now. Is that the grouper? Or the bus saw? Status? It's down to 81%. Keep pushing. I'm not too confident about my positioning anymore. Let's get a move on. Low health. Perfect. Blow it up. Hijack the resources. Too damaged. Excellent. Alright. Swap target. Because that boss saw is getting eerily close. Whoa. What the hell are those? Uh, speed to full, please. And make sure we start turning away before that thing eats me. Like that. Jesus. How bad is this? Could you not? I guess we figured out why the AI considers this to be such a priority. Because that thing is just chopping me up. And I have no rudder control. I have no steering. Nothing. I'm not even sure if that stern turret is still functional. Oh dear. Um, thoughts? There goes the turret. Hold on. There is... Maybe something that I can do. I'm just not sure if it works anymore. Mirror mode on. Air. Give me all the balloons in the world. Hot air balloon deployer. Um... Resting. How do I deploy this? Because I want to deploy all of them right now. I want to just fly off. But I'm not sure if I can. It's ready for use. Yeah, perfect. Jesus, they're already flying off the ship. Balloon loaded and ready for use. Uh, deploy, deploy, deploy. There we go. Congratulations, you've promoted from combat dinghy to airship. Deploy, deploy, deploy. I have a ton of resources. And that buzzsaw thing seems to only be water-based. I just don't know if it's jammed into my ship at this point or not. Let's see. Really? Oh, Jesus. That was the whole turret going up. Oh, dear. All of these balloons deploy before the thing eats me entirely. The 
There's probably a way better way of deploying these balloons, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, look at that. That is positively terrifying. Fly, damn it. Why are those balloons in front not doing anything? Oh, they've just been blown off. Because the turret exploded. Oh, but we are. Are we getting up? Yeah, but not scot-free. Jesus. Could you give it a rest? At least my stern is no longer being eaten. Balloon loading, please wait. I don't have a moment to wait. The more we wait, the less of a ship I have. So if you don't very much mind, I would like to take off now. Come on. Float! Look at that, I have no hull. Float! Fly! Oh jeez, you have a turret as well? Oh no. Well, I'm flying. <laughs> this is such a weird solution. But it might just work. Unfortunately, I have not so many resources anymore. And their guns are still doing a lot of damage. Lovely. Uh, ideas? Because <laughs> I just kind of ran out. Revolving blast gun? Good damage, but highly inaccurate. Yeah, that's exactly what I don't need right now. 30 millimeter auto cannon. Or assault cannon. Fuck it. Let's invest in this. We just need to be able to keep that thing at bay. Maybe it's better in this case to put it on the bottom. Since I have now turned the combat dinghy into an airship. Um... I'm not even sure if I still have an AI. Is that thing still intact? No, it doesn't look like it. Wherever the AI used to be is now a giant gaping hole. No, actually. No, that, sorry, that's my engine. Right, okay. Um, miscellaneous. Give me a couple of repair bots. I need to reassemble this ship as quickly as possible. Couple on the bow as well. I still have my missile systems, but they're not launching anymore. Where's that thing? Oh, it's still shooting me from below. Gotcha. I have no idea where the bus saw is at this point. It's below... There it is. It's below me. And here I was thinking, you know what, there's going to be a nice episode, about 30 minutes, I have the ship, we're doing alright. And then the bus saw shows up. And all of a sudden we're looking at an almost 60 minute video. Come on buddy. Do some damage. Any kind will do. Yep, yeah, props, perfect. Now, so long as that thing is harassing me, I don't really see a good way to get out of here. Oh. It seems to be getting engaged by something else. There's another threat out there. Ammo is pretty bad. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you with this little cliffhanger here, and we're going to see tomorrow, or sorry, not tomorrow, uh, sometime in the future, how we're going to go and get out of this mess, if at all. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next part.